Um, in this bottle, we've got something called powdered rhubarb, which is apparently something else that you would take for a stomach complaint. We've got a wee bottle here that's got quinine in it, obviously for treating your malaria and so forth. So all these original bottles. That's amazing. And we've even got a box of pills here, which I love because it says cough pills on it. <laughs> <laughs> Just solves all problems. Solves all problems. I love that she was allowed to carry all this around because the job just had to be done. You couldn't wait for half a dozen people to do something. No. You just needed to get And they were dying, those yes. men, like flies, and she had to do something about it. Nobody yeah. was there to tell her. And for a woman to do that at that time, 1854 to 1856, was really remarkable. And then along came the Crimean War, and she was asked to go and help in the hospital outside Constantinople, which she did. She recruited 38 Nightingale nurses to go with her, similarly brave women, to go into what was a former military barracks at Scutari. And up to that moment in time, largely the nursing was done by men. And they were retired military men, men, men who'd been invalided out of the army, turned to nursing. And frankly, they weren't very good at the job. And her nurses, her 38, would wear a sash across their uniform. And this is one of the embroidered sashes from the Scutari Hospital, which one of her 38 would have actually worn. That's incredible. My goodness. And our Florence Nightingale, in 1860, published this book. And this is the first edition of her Notes on Nursing, which remains in publication to this day. And this book contains her basic thoughts yes. on nursing. And that is part of the root of the nursing profession which we have today. That's quite extraordinary, isn't it? Anyway, thank you for sharing this moment thank with me. Thank you for sharing this with me. That's really <laughs> exciting. Price tag for the corner cabinet might have been criminally cheap, but that didn't stop Reiki getting a little bit off. 65 paid. Jack made sure he didn't pay over the odds for the vase. It set him back a reasonable £12. It was love at first sight for Reiki, but let's hope the mangle has the same effect on the bidders. She paid a stomping £90. Cool, it doesn't half go dark early, does it? Now, did you have a good time? Yes. So which is your favourite piece, darling? The child's mangle and washing set. What about you? I like the little vase. OK, little vase. And which piece is going to bring the biggest profit? I think uh, the corner cabinet. The corner cabinet's yes. going to make the best profit for you, Rachel. I think, percentage-wise, the little vase will bring most. OK, Jacques, you're digging in there. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> you spent £167. I want £133 of leftover lolly. All for you. You don't like handing that over, do you? <laughs> and um, here we go, David. Oh, thank you, Tim. That's a nice sum, isn't it? Lovely. It's Just a tidy sum for you. Just enough, thank you. Brilliant. Mm. Um, so how do you see things going? Is this going to be easy to buy something mm. interesting? Well, and... you, you think it would because this place is so huge, but I think these two will agree you go blind. <laughs> anyway, you better go off and get it, David. Okay. Well done. Let's remind ourselves of what the blues bought. So, Reiki Jack, you spent £167, which is... Relatively cautious. You gave £133 to David Harper. He's hopefully used his expert eye to find you something that's going to make a massive profit on your bonus buy. Let us see what David Harper has bought you. Well, what a builder. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> very lovely, very elegant. I hope you like it. Oh, that's sweet. Do you know what it is? No, I was going to say, what is it? <laughs> Well, it's not a stamp. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's a very high quality piece of pressed glass and it's a it's a lady's pin tray and on the base there it's inscribed Lalique. <laughs> Ready Lalique, a fantastic yeah. Parisian glassmaker, started in the early 1900s. Oh, yeah. 1945 he dies, so we know that this one is dated after 45 because on the base it just says Lalique France. If it had our Lalique, it would be before he died. So this one is probably 1940s or 50s. Dare I ask you what you think I spent on it? Bear in mind the quality. 82. Oh, very good, very good, really? Jack. 75. 
40 pounds. Oh, really? Oh. Now, that's not bad. It can't We've be bad. We've just made 50 quid there. Exactly. <laughs> it's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> On that happy note, you don't have to decide right now, OK? okay. You decide after the sale of your first three items. 12 new place now. So how are you feeling, team? Very confident. Very confident. Are Very you? Confident. you sure no. about that? No. Not so sure. It is a funny feeling, isn't it? Going into because the you're a very confident actress, right? Both of you are confident screen people. But yet at this moment, when you don't know what is going to happen, it is exciting. But first up is your Bowfront corner cupboard, and here it comes, darling. Lot 122, the George III Bowfronted corner cabinet. £80 for him. 80 is bid now, 80, You're in 5, profit. 90, 5, 95 away, right. Uh, 95 pounds, we done and sure it's 95. On, yes, 95 pounds, 95 pounds, you made 30 pounds straight up. Now, your vase, Jack. Over in the cabinets now and on the screen here now, five pounds for it, no money. Neat little thing for a fiver now, five is bid, Come on. eight, ten. At ten pounds, we all done and sure for ten, twelve. Yes, well done. Twelve new place now. At twelve pounds, we all done for twelve. Well done, Jack. It's wiped its face. Oh, we're nearly made a Plus thirty. You're still plus thirty. Good. Now, the mangle. Yes. Oh, yes. Say it with a positive inflection. Oh, the mangle. Thank you. Interest everywhere at twenty-five, thirty. Got at thirty pounds. Money's with me at thirty-five. Takes we done at thirty pounds. Then. Oh, no, he's done it. Thirty pounds is 30. minus sixty. Are we still in No. No. No, no we're not. <laughs> <laughs> so you are overall minus thirty pounds. What are you going to do, sweet pea, about that pin tray? I'm going to go for it. Go for it. We You're going to do it. We have to go for it. Have to try you don't have to go for it. You don't have to. to. No, but you want to. we decided if we were yes, well, if we were down. You, you, that's yeah. your strategy, is yes. it? Yes. All right, fine. Okay. Oh, we've got a strategy. We've got. <laughs> well, you got an idea, <laughs> Jack. You're letting it down. Anyway, you're going to go with the bonus buy. Yes. We're going with the bonus buy, and here it comes. Lot one two eight is a Lalique pin tray interest thirty got. At thirty pounds, money's here at thirty. Are we all done at thirty? Five, forty. At forty pounds, it's here now. Forty pounds, then. Oh, forty pounds, forty pounds. Oh, wiped its face. Well done, David. Which means overall you are minus thirty pounds. All right, minus thirty pounds could easily be a winning score. All right. Don't tell the blues anything. All right. I don't think they. <laughs> Oh, oh, we won't do they don't realise how well they've done, actually, <laughs> do they? <laughs> That's the I mean, it's not a bad score, it's minus 30. I promise you, this could be a winning really score, sweetie. I believe you. You wanted to go home with the cash, didn't you? Yeah, you yes. You really wanted to. I just wanted to sell the mango. I wanted someone to see what I saw yeah. in the mango. I feel really wrung out about it. <laughs> Well, 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 who would have predicted all this fun? Have we had a good time? Yes. Yes. You've been talking to one another? No. no. Keeping everything on the QT, have we? Absolutely. Uh, well, this is the moment to reveal all, and I have to reveal that the runners-up today are the Reds. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. runners-up. So That's sorry. Congratulations. Oh. Congrats. Gracious in defeat. Yeah. It started off so well, didn't it? That £30 profit on your corner cupboard. And then we all got and mangled. Then we and, yeah. lost it. <laughs> I know, the mangle. What can I say? Don't worry about it. That's the whole thing. It was a sweet object. It was. It was just no one here that was young at heart. Uh, that, not that young, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope you've had a good time because you've been a great team. The three of you have been a great team. Thank, Thank, Thank you so much for joining us, anyway. Right. But the victors today, the blues. Yes. I mean, this is amazing, isn't it? You're going to go home with money. Wow. And it never happens. <laughs> Didn't start off so well, though, did it? That £100 going down the drain on the bench. But you clawed it back. So thoroughly, thoroughly well-deserved result, which is plus £45. And £45 is coming up. There's your £45, Charles. I have to ask, what are you going to do with your £45 of winnings? Uh, we're going to be giving it to Macmillan Cancer Research. A very noble cause, and I'm sure they'll be grateful. But thank you very much for joining us. We have had a fantastic show. Join us soon for some more bargain hunting, yes? Yes! yes!